everyone. It's Teacher Kelly from Side by Side Preschool, and I am happy that you came to join me today. Let's sing hello to everyone who came. Will you pat with me? Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. Hello, Maggie and Sam. So glad to see you. Hello, Carlos and Ethan. So glad to see you. Hello to all my friends. So glad to see you. Hello, everybody. We're so glad to see you. I'm so happy you came to join me today. Do you know what that sound means? That's right. It's time for the mystery box. If you're ready for the mystery box, put your hands on your shoulders. If you're ready for the mystery box, put your hands on your head. If you're ready for the mystery box, put your hands on your cheeks and squeeze your cheeks together. <laughs> That's silly. Let's sing our mystery box song. What's in the mystery box? What's in the mystery box? Get your minds ready for mystery box. A mystery is something we don't know, but we figure it out using clues. Time for clue number one. Clue number one is it sounds like this. What does that sound like to you? Kind of sounds like a party. Do you think there's a party in my box? Well, that would be fun. Time for clue number two. Clue number two is you use it for a celebration. Hmm, celebration. I think of a celebration like a holiday or a birthday party. What do you use at a celebration? Are you ready to find out? Me too. Let's see. I feel a little confused about what's in my box. I'm gonna need your help to figure this one out. This mystery is hard. Will you help me? If you'll help me, shake your head yes. Thanks. Okay, here's what's in my box. A broom. Do you use a broom at a celebration? I don't know. Check this out. My teeth. Do you think we would use a mouth for? Okay, a broom, a mouth. Whoa. A watch. A watch helps you tell time. Oh, you guys, this is a real mystery. I don't know about this one. A book. The book is called Hug. Oh, let's give ourselves a great big hug. Maybe it'll help us solve the mystery. Ooh. Okay. And a present. Now that is something I find at a celebration. But what about all these other things? I don't get it. Do you? Oh, wait. There's one more thing in the box. Maybe this will help us. Oh, it's our sign. Do you remember the video we did when we remembered that we are loved? You, my friend, are loved. Hmm. Well, I still don't get how this is going to help us think about how we're loved and to celebrate. Mm. I'm going to need to call my friend. I have a friend. Her name is Susie Celebration, and she knows everything about celebrations. Let's call her. Beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> answers. 
Hello. Susie Celebration. Susie Celebration here. Hi. Teacher Kelly, how you doing? Oh, I'm just here with my preschool friends. Ooh, need help with the celebration? Yes, I am calling for you to help me with the celebration. Okay. Yeah. We have a mystery to solve. Ooh. And we need your help. Okay. In our mystery box was mm -hmm. a book. Okay. A watch. Mm -hmm. Some teeth. Uh -huh. A broom. Oh yeah. And a present. Uh huh. What do you think we do with those? Oh, I know exactly what to do. That broom, that's for when uh -huh. someone likes to be celebrated by an act of service. Uh -huh. Like sweeping their floors. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And that watch, that's being celebrated with time. Uh -huh. Okay. Just spending okay. time with people is all you need to do sometimes. Got it. Mm -hmm. And okay. that mouth, that's for when people like to be celebrated with a uh -huh. compliment. Like, I really like the way you put me to bed. Ah. Feels good. Clever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And what about the book hug? Oh yes, everyone needs a hug. Mm -hmm. Hugs Don't you do think? Make me feel loved. That's right. You be uh -huh. celebrated with a hug or a high five. Oh, and that gift? Yes. Yeah. We know okay. what that's for. We got uh -huh. it. Okay. Susie Celebration. Uh -huh. Thanks so much for your help. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Teacher uh -huh. Kelly. Okay. Bye. Bye. Now I get it. This is another week where we celebrate a holiday called Father's Day. And it's a holiday where you can celebrate anyone who makes you feel loved. Let's go back to our other video and remember our friends and how they felt loved by the people in their life. Aww, Tiggy felt loved by a hug from his mom. Aww, look at that. Horse and his dad are cooking together. Oh, I remember this one. This is when Blue Kitty felt loved by her sister who listened to her when she was feeling sad. Oh, that's right. This is when Uni was feeling really loved when her grandma read her books. This is a fun one. This is when Ellie felt really loved when her aunt played blocks with her. There's so many ways that people show us that they love us. Now it's time for us to think about how we are gonna celebrate the people in our lives who make us feel loved. Love party! My family and I thought it would be really fun to role play these five ways that you can celebrate the person in your life who loves you. Let's start by a hug or a handshake or a high five. That's one way that you can show someone that you love them. Let's go. Um, you know, I'm really glad that you're my brother. Gee, thanks. Um, handshake? Yes. That was a really cool handshake they had. <laughs> a watch. Spending time with someone is one way to show them that you love them. Do you want to see our role play? Okay. Grandpa, I want to spend some time with you. Do you want to go on a walk? Why, well, sure, Abigail. I'd love to. You gotta slow down for these old bones. Oh. They went for a walk together. That grandpa sure walks kind of slow. Giving someone a compliment. That's a really powerful way that you can show someone that you love them. Let's see our play. Hi, Uncle We want to say hi. Hi. We want to celebrate you by giving you a compliment. Oh, wow. Thank you for teaching me how to ski. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for making me feel welcome at your house. Oh, you're always welcome at your, our house. Thank you guys for calling and, and giving me compliments. It makes me feel really special. You're welcome. You're welcome. We sure love our Uncle B. 
a broom. Doing something kind for someone who loves you is a great way to say thanks to them. Let's see what we do with a broom. Hey, Em, what are you doing? Uh, I wanted to celebrate you today by cleaning the house. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Boy, I sure felt loved when they offered to sweep my floors for me. That means I had one less thing to do. Okay. Do you want to know what's inside this present? Me too. Let's see what we do. Daddy, Daddy, I have a present for you. For me? <gasps> Thank you. Should I open it now? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Did you make this? At preschool. Wow, it's beautiful. I love it. Wow. Thanks. Scott really looked like he enjoyed that gift from Abby. I wonder which one of these five things you will choose this week to do for someone who loves you. It's really important that you remember that you are loved. I can't wait to know what you are gonna do this week to celebrate the people who love you. And will you tell me? Okay, that sounds great. All right, friends, bye for now. Fist bump! <laughs>